So here we go. This is me deadlifting 315 for the first time. This was on Jason Blaha's program. Yep, hips way too high, pulling way too slow. Still got it though. And this is three months later, me getting 315 for 10. And this was about. This was. Mm, this was towards the beginning of the first four week cycle of the power program. And I got a insert belt. It's a red 10 millimeter single prong forever lever belt. Uh, I believe that's what it's called. And one thing you can notice is that I'm having a slight bit too much of thoracic back rounding and looks like it's lumbar rounding but I mean I guess it's okay but I still I don't I need to fix that I need to strengthen my erector so I don't pull with a round back I want it to be perfectly straight so I think this is 10 Another thing, I put my knee sleeves on my knees if I'm wearing shorts so the bar doesn't scrape my shins. There's a Ray-Ban knee sleeves, by the way. And this is later on in the cycle. And this is me pulling 365 for two sets of four. That's my, that's actually the, that was, a, I got 365 as a max in my mock meet and I'm doing it for two sets of four. Not even after four weeks of the power program. That's my friend in the back. That's Bill McKenna and Quinn Vitale. Shout out to them. That hurt my hands. Alright, and this is me pulling 405 halfway through the cycle, training cycle. It's way too much backgrounding, spinal flexion, no good. That was really bad. Alright, here. This is me doing 335. This is where I actually injured myself. I believe it on the four, it happens on the fourth round. That's one. Here's two. Lumbar's rounding. That's not good. That's a bad sign. Gotta fix that. Here's three. And wait for it. Wait for it. And snap. Snap. I'm done. I can't bend over. It's over. I basically went upstairs after that and didn't leave my bed for a few days. It was absolutely painful. Yeah. Ouch. This is me hitting 320, which was an extreme grinder. Just, it looks like I did like a pause wrap halfway up. That was really hard. That was also halfway through the training cycle. And this is me doing 275 for five sets of five. This is the first set. Got my Addy Power squat shoes, insert belt, and I'm wearing my knee sleeves under my uh, pants. Cause I I noticed lately that I like squatting with long sleeve pants. It just feels more comfortable for me, and I prefer to put my knee sleeves under. And this is me hitting 245 for a set of five on front squat. One thing I notice about front squats is I feel like I'm like not using my belt because when I'm front squatting, I'm not putting any tension on my belt at all. I'm guessing it's like a form issue, a technique problem. I need to fix that because I could have probably done that belt list because I really don't feel my belt coming into play when I, when I do front squats. Ooh, grinder. I got it. This is, what is this? This is 250. I was doing a 1086. This is uh, 8 reps. Yeah, sometimes, that's this is me training at a gym. I usually train at my house, at my home gym, but every now and then I like going to the gym and training because I usually go on leg days because I need to do things like leg press and like quad extensions. They're part of the program and I don't have those things at my house, so. I will at least go once a week to a real gym. So yeah, this is a, a set of eight. This is this is actually after my back got after I recovered from my back injury, and this is like a few days before my shoulder injury. This is me hitting 245 for 10 
on squats and this is at my home gym and as you can see I got those mirrors on the walls I got mats on the floor there's like a little smith machine there with a cable I don't use a smith machine because it's that smith machine is just terrible but the cable comes in useful we got the floors painted brown and just recently we got mats to cover to cover the whole area basically which you'll see in future videos and I'm also trying on putting my knee sleeves on top of my pants I just wanted to see what it felt like I think I'm gonna keep them under just personal preference yeah I tried keeping on this side specifically I tried to keep my head really upright to keep me more upright on the squat so I don't get like some my hips don't shoot up out of the bottom and that's that look pretty good and this is me hitting 315 for a heavy single Let's see a little bit of forward leaning still got it and this is me hitting three this is the actual this is the day that I hurt my shoulder I didn't feel it during the workout it's the next day that I actually felt it but yeah the bar was sitting on my bones that snapped me up alright here is at the end of the four week cycle hitting a 250 bench buck came off that's a problem I have to fix that and this is just me hitting 225 for five and my butt starts coming off on the last few reps which is not good I really have to fix that all the videos where you've seen that my butt's been coming off the bench that's when I didn't know how to use leg drive now I'm really really working on perfecting leg drive and you'll see in future videos where my toe like my oh wow I tried six reps that didn't happen this is 245 close grip it's my friend Dylan back there that was pretty smooth this is me hitting 225 for a single which I thought was relatively smooth this is with leg drive if you see that I'm on my toes and my feet and my feet are way closer into the bench and my butt's not coming off and this is me doing 205 for five sets of five and I'm really working on keeping the butt on the bench and using leg drive as opposed to my old benching technique which was not that good and just to finish off I'm doing 185 for I believe a set of eight here yeah it's close grip these videos aren't in chronological order too just in case you notice because here the floor is not painted brown and yeah Here's me doing some uh, accessory exercises. This is uh, this is 225 five by five barbell row. This is the same day I got injured, of course. And this is just me doing some curls, typical three by eight. Try to keep my form relatively strict. I mean, there's a tiny amount of swaying, but it it uh, it's okay to go like kind of heavy sometimes but usually I'll keep it a little bit more strict that's my uncle in the background he uh we kind of been working out together for like the past few months and yeah this is a 3 by 8 with 95 pounds so yeah basically that's just been those have just been my training videos for the past past like like five months six months probably but usually when I train at my house I take my laptop with me um, and I typically like to film like pretty much all my sets so I could observe and critique it and where's my form not good like what's like just so I could see how I did so I know like how to improve and how to get better and I think filming your lifts is a really 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 good way to progress and grow and so yeah that's just basically this is the training videos and if you guys have any questions or anything like that just leave it in the comments below I think the next video I'm gonna do is gonna be a Q&A video so just just go ahead and just flood the comments with a bunch of questions and yeah I'll see you in the next video